Hello and good morning. Welcome back to the madness. It is Monday, Monday. Oh, it's my birthday. It's kind of weird. Usually my husband or my kids right at midnight say happy birthday. No one said it. And I woke up this morning and I was up for an hour with John. He didn't say it. But right when, because Becca has to do my wound and get it ready for work, you know, bandage it all up. Right when I went to wake up Becca, the first thing out of her mouth was, Happy birthday. I was like, aw, thank you, baby. And then John heard her say it, and five minutes later, he came in and said, Happy birthday. I'm like, man. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's hot hot out here today which is nothing this is normal my birthday always seems to be one of the hottest days of the year so I remember one year I was having a birthday party it was a sleepover and we lost power and when the power came on it was a brownout so the fan was just like barely moving. It was like we thought we were dying. It was so bad. And it wasn't like it was raining outside so we could just like go outside and cool off in the rain. There's been plenty of hot, hot, hot birthdays. But that's like one of my biggest memories. That and I think I was like in eighth grade or I was a freshman and we went for a bike ride there was like five of us and just sweat dripping off of you but it was fun the good old days when you used to have no air conditioning <clears throat> sorry I got a little froggy there no air conditioning Everyone just had a box fan. You had your own box fan. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Oh, I am very happy. Again, I lost two pounds this week. So I'm so happy. That's, I was uh, shaking up my shake that I have in the morning. Because I'm not a breakfast eater at all. Blech. So, but I can drink one of these shakes. I am going to treat myself, though. For lunch, I'm having Taco Bell. Because it's my favorite. Give myself my own little birthday lunch. Dude, just turn. My goodness. I think it's hilarious. I've, what, it was four years ago? I was out of work for a month and I have one finger that I knock on doors and it has a pretty good callus on my knuckle. When I went back to work, my callus, you know, my finger didn't hurt when I knocked on doors. This time I was gone for two weeks and my finger is so sore still. I just touched it. So it's going to be interesting knocking on doors today. And it's still tender. And I've been back to work for what, two weeks now? So what's the freaking problem, finger? Oh my gosh, guys, I did so much stitching this weekend. My numbers, I haven't calculated because I stopped stitching at midnight last night. So, um,. And right when I get home, the plan is we are doing a Stitchy Time video. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to find all my whips that I've worked on in the last, I think it's almost about a month. Okay, I need to take a drink. Get all those whips. Show the progress. All the progress. Um... 
yeah, so my goal is uh, Johnny's calling. Hold, please. Okay. It's been a while. It's been quite a few hours. So, I think I made a decision, too. I think when I do my stitchy time video, my floss tube, whatever you want to call it, um, I think I'm going to just not say all the numbers. Because who really cares if I put 200 in this because Magical Stitches wanted me to do this prompt. And I have too many groups now, so I can just show you. Over the week, I put 4,000 stitches in this, not 4,000, but you know what I mean? I put 386 stitches in this project this week. And just keep a total like that which would help me keep up on my um, headmistress mistress um, challenge too because then I, I'll, I'll keep better records I mean I keep awesome records but more up to the date records so we'll see And I don't know, I need to look into it. I'm thinking of like filming a stitch with me without me talking. I don't know. And I was thinking I could, um, I need to work out the whole, figure out the whole, um, voiceover thing. How to do voiceovers. Because I know there's a lot of people who can't watch the vlogs because they're driving. But I do my best talking when I'm driving. So if I could drive, if I could drive. <laughs> That'd be nice if I could drive. If I could record my voice through the week and then record me cross-stitching or Diamond painting. Should try diamond painting because then, um, for at least an hour a week, I do diamond painting. I don't know. I'm gonna have to really think about it. Or I can just start doing. It's just so hard to set up every night to do a stitch with me vlog type thing. That's why I was thinking the voiceover would be a lot better. I mean, it'd still be annoying. You'll still have Mona talking and, you know, when bumps happen and stuff like that. Turn signals. But, I don't know. I need to just figure out how to set up where I can do it on my desk like stitch on my desk every night have like a project that I just go in the back room and stitch because setting up from my um what is it called lazy boy recliner recliner um I ain't that fancy I don't have a lazy boy um it's just impossible. It's so hard. But I have my craft area. I got to be able to figure out somehow to set up where I can record. In one quarter mile, turn right. And do like. Because I don't want to do face to face vlogs. Because, yeah, that's why my stitchy types are so short is because I just want to get off because I hate looking at myself while I'm recording. Because I see my mannerisms, you know, and I talk with my hands and then I see my hands flying around. And I get self-conscious. 
And then you got the whole bra thing again and in my nightgown. Right when I walk in the door, I want to get in my nightgown. I don't know I don't know I don't want to give up the vlog because I love doing the vlog I just need to find a better way to do the vlog and if I record it oh that was like a little weird that voice that I just made and if I recline recline it oh my god I need to go home and go to bed no I'm stitching oh yeah okay so Let's get one thought out at a time, Becky. So, if I set up a place to record in the house, I can record a clip every day, you know? It won't be just the days that I work. So, but I was thinking today, like I've said before, today's my birthday. So, I'm thinking of treating myself to a new start and I went to go on the internet and find something for my new birthday start my my birthday start my new start on my birthday however you want to say those words together so I only have three more so yay Okay, yeah, so I'm going to figure it out this weekend. Don't know what I'm going to figure out. I think I'm really going to just try to set up a place to record in my um, craft room. And then once John goes to bed, I can just go in the craft room. And, well, like, okay, John always goes to bed before me, like, 95% of the time. So, what I was saying, what I meant by that was, where am I going first? Um, and hopefully, with the whole, um, oh, yeah, okay, that's where I'm going. Um, brain hopefully okay oh my gosh hopefully when I'm crafting in the cra or when I'm mm, vlogging in the craft room I won't have so many spacey moments you know and you'll still be getting the update of what I did the day before you know it'll just be before I go to bed But, yeah, I'm really thinking about stop talking about all the things that I stitched for. I might say it in the vlog, but the vlog is different, you know? I feel like the vlog is different. Because you get it day by day. I don't know. I'm going to try it out. And if you don't want to hear the vlog, let me know. And I'll just keep, you know, all that stuff out of the videos totally but I am loving the new group I joined and I'm liking um, the people that are in the group too that helps oh, I don't like this turn when it's really busy like that I feel like I don't know where I'm going and I feel like they don't know where they're going so I'm scared they're going to side swipe me Especially like big garbage trucks that are in their lane. Um. Damn, my brain won't stay focused. Oh yeah, about the new group and um, what helps too is they're all U.S. Because the one group that I I'm in. We're from all over the world. So our time zones don't add up at all. I think maybe. But see, only on the weekends it works. Because I want to say 
Oh, was I supposed to turn there? Okay, I'll do that. Um, on the weekends, I think around 3 o'clock, we're all stitching, you know? But anything else, I want to say... Um, the main person in our group, six o'clock my time is her midnight. So, and I can tell you that I want to say it's like three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning is when she wants to do all the talking and it's like, oh, I'm sleeping. So... That one gets put on mute because everyone talks at all different times of the day and night and yeah, morning. So yeah. But this one seems to be fun and they seem to be kind of fast stitchers. So we're getting the task done that we're supposed to. Okay. Arriving at destination on left. On left. 41, 51, this should be 61. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna let you go here. Um, I'm going home to stitch it and then tonight I'm doing a stitchy time after Becca goes live because Becca didn't go live last night because we were celebrating my birthday last night. So she was kind enough to say that she would do her live on um, Monday nights. So yay. Hello and welcome back. It is Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. I don't know why Tuesday is just very hard for me to, to record. I think maybe because I have Becca and she just, you know, I'd rather spend time with Becca and I don't think of doing a club because I'm not sitting here by myself. Because we just talk or sing or, you know. So, yeah. So. Oh, I'm kind of frustrated with myself. Um, I used to do this when I was into diamond painting, too. I would see the image, just buy it, and not look at the details. Would it look and see if it was square or round or how big it was? I would just be like, oh, yes, please, add to cart. And then when it came, I'd be like, it's square and be all mad well Monday I was like you know what it's my birthday and I decided I'm gonna spend I think I spent like maybe 30 bucks um, thank God all of them were on sale the most I, I spent on one pattern was like seven dollars the rest were like 250 some were half off some were 70% off I don't know there was a big sale on Etsy's uh, cross stitch patterns Monday so I'm thinking oh because I see I watch floss too but I see all these cute little things you guys do the Lizzie Cates and stuff like that and I'm like I just want some little projects you know that I can finish why did when I start looking at all of these after I bought them to see what size they were they're humongous humongous like this I bought this cute little skull one for John I'm like oh this should be cute and small I thought it would fit maybe in like a 10 inch hoop you know that's what I was looking for like 10 inch 6 inch you know little hoops little cute little things Five by five, six by six, eight by eight. You know, I wanted little things. No. Why is my peacock 21 by 36 inches? No, I don't want it that big. I wanted like, I thought maybe that one would be like a 10 by 10. 14 maybe no not 10 by like an 8 by 14 you know I was like I was so disappointed but now I I've learned how to 
actually find out because then I was like, well, how was I even supposed to know? They don't put the dimensions in the description. So it's in the read more. And then you got to scroll and scroll and scroll to freaking find it. But yeah. Then the one piece that I like, there's so much backstitch. I'm like, why didn't I look at this better? So yeah. Once again, I went shopping and didn't like, I just, because I give myself permission and I think this is what happens because I give myself permission to spend money because I'm not a person who likes to spend money. I mean, you can't tell by all the freaking diamond art clubs I have, but <laughs> I'm not the type, but see back then I was doing weddings and I, like every weekend I was making close to like $400, $500 a weekend sometimes $700 a weekend so yeah but now that I don't do weddings anymore I don't have that you know big paychecks I still have nice decent ones and then I'm still catching up from um, having the all the responsibility of burying well, not burying um, cremating my mother and stuff God, I can't even imagine if I was going to, if her wishes were to be buried, she had no life insurance. She had nothing. So, it was all on my response, it was all my responsibility because my brother is off in let's say Colorado. He lives in a shack. Doesn't even have running water. He uses an outhouse. And all he does is pick weed. So, yeah. He's a bum basically all of them that makes money but to live in a house with no plumbing yeah no thank you no heat the only way Ooh, yeah I didn't like that um oh you're gonna run the red light too you're smart I don't know what it is with people running red lights lately um I don't know what I was saying Yeah, I couldn't do it. So, anyways, when I do give myself permission to spend money, I want to spend it fast before I change my mind. I think that's how it is. Because I'm very anxious, too, when I buy. But I saw all these cute things, and they were on sale, but I just didn't take that extra step and look. But, yeah, I want some cross-stitch patterns that doesn't have back-stitching that are, like, 5x5, five 6x6. Five, six even 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 but 21 by 36 no but I did start it last night I was so depressed Monday because Monday night I wanted to start my peacock for my birthday and I'm like okay I'm gonna do this and then I was like I don't have fabric Oh, shit, the floss that I wanted to use. I don't have enough floss. So I was quite depressed. And then, I think it was that morning. Yesterday morning, I woke up and I'm like, okay, bring in the Fortnite fabric. Because what I was doing was looking at the um, all my white fabric I have. And I'm like, let's let's see. Let's see if I have colored fabric that's bigger, you know? It was the ones that I got from Amazon. Oh shoot. Okay, did I pass it yet? No, I'm here I am just talking, not realizing. Um, you need to pay attention because you're still doing your job. So, brought in the Fortnite and took out my measuring tape and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, it's gonna fit, it's gonna fit. So, this, the Fortnite fabric that I get now is, I don't know, halfback, quarterback, whatever. It's the big one of the things they're called I really don't so um I get the larger piece of fabric as <laughs> as I can tell you and um I picked my floss Becca ordered my wait I picked my fabric and what I I knew what floss I wanted to use it was uh, 
Dye Works, I want to say. Works, do you, oh yeah, I think it's Weeks Dye Works. Um, so, I got my fabric, and I put that on top of the, the floss on top of it. There was, um, the other one I was going to use was, um, Phil and Lil, or Phil, Dylan, Phil and Lil. Why doesn't my brain work? It's Rugrats. Phil and Lil, right? Yeah. But when I put it on and I I put both fabrics down and then I put the floss where it went over both of them, and Becca's like, oh no, the blue one. So Becca's the one who picked the fabric. And I was like, yeah, that's what I was going for. But I really wanted to use that green because that green is so beautiful. So... And now I'm kind of excited because, you know, I, I had all day to think. So now I want to go home and see if the skulls will fit on the one that I got yesterday. Well, that I opened on my floss tube. I try not to open my Fortnite fabrics until I actually do the floss tube. Well, right before I do the floss tube. So I can see it like when you guys see it. But um, I love, I forgot what it was called too. Sunny and Cherry, that's what it was called. I'm thinking the skulls would look awesome on Sunny and Cher if they would fit. I don't know. But I did, I want to say 600 stitches last night. And my goal is to put 1,500 in before I even think about putting it up because I'm doing it for a monster. And then I'm doing it for the biggest monster, which is 1500 that I always struggle with. So I figured it's a new start and I want to stay on it longer. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I have to run in here real fast. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, I was saying it was too hot in here. So, I hope that's not too loud on you, but I got the air blowing up at you guys, so you won't get overheated again. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, so I did 600 stitches in the Peacock, and I am loving it. It's just going to be freaking big, but I am loving it, so... Um, my plans are tonight to put in but now I don't know what's going to happen tonight <laughs> which I'm kind of thinking I wish John would invite his friends over more often this is the first time he's had friends over to the house so and I don't remember him inviting friends over to our other house either John is more of a talk on the internet than in person type person you know so John doesn't like going anywhere so um, his friend that he hasn't seen in I don't know how long well I think he saw him like three years ago he went out to his house because he was having a big garage sale of course John brought a whole bunch of junk home but anyways um, his friend is coming over today with his wife his daughter and his granddaughter I think that's what, who's coming over? I don't know why they're coming over. I think to see his trains, I'm not 100% sure. But John has been like scrubbing, doing so much yard work. Uh, yeah, so I called him today and like, cause he goes, I don't even know if they're gonna stay over for dinner. I would like them to stay over for dinner, but I don't know if they're going to. I'm like, okay. So, he's like, well, this was yesterday. Is there anything that we could cook that would feed them all? Because, you know, we portion everything to three people now. So, if I don't know you're coming over, well, I don't have enough food for you now. Because I don't make for ten people anymore. It's basically what I used to cook for. It was ten people. So, we would still have leftovers, too. But, um, I'm like, well, we have that big pack of country ribs and we get two dinners out of that when we make that we have dinner and then we have leftovers 
So I called him this morning. I said, hey, did you by chance take out the ribs this morning? Oh, shit, no, I forgot. What were we going to do? I'm like, calm down. I said, okay, go put them in the Instapots. Go ahead and put them in Frozen in the Instapots. I said, we'll make pulled pork. He's like, oh, my God, that sounds amazing. He's like, I forget what he said. He just came in from outside. He was doing all this stuff, uh, power washing things, cutting things down, burning things, burning all the bush, the brush, brush, bush, brush, that grows on our back fence because our neighbors next door don't clean up after themselves on their side of the fence. So every year we have to clean up their vines. It's all on their side, but it comes over onto ours and it's really annoying. It's like, can you just take care of it? We took the one, care of the ones on our side and ours never grow back. But now we still have to deal with your shit, you know? So, but he was like cleaning. He said, I got the canopy up. And so apparently we're gonna be eating outside from what it sounds like. So he just, he's been hilarious. Um, he's like, yeah, I just came in and I started scrubbing down the kitchen and I'm like, the kitchen yesterday. He's like, I started scrubbing the cabinets. I'm like, oh, go for it. Scrub the stove. The crates are in the dishwasher. I'm like, okay, keep going. Keep going. But I didn't click until last night when I was, because he was outside last night cutting all the brush, 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 whatever it's called. And doing stuff out there, which I thought he was doing his trains. And then he came in, and he's like, Toby, you want to go outside? And Toby runs right back in. I'm like, why doesn't he want to go outside? And John's like, oh, I got the fire pit going. I'm like, got the fire pit going? What are you doing? And then he started telling me everything he was doing last night. Then it started to click. Why, yesterday morning, he was so, oh, man, I... Mm, told me to turn here. Now I did. And now it's going to make me turn all the way back over there. Um, he was very like helpful the, yesterday morning. I didn't even tell you guys. Um, so I had to go to work early yesterday because I had it by 9 a.m. So I told Becca because she goes with me on Tuesdays. I thought that car was backing up on me. Um, that I would go do the 9 o'clock and then I would come back and then get her. And I'd take a shower then she could do my wound and stuff like that. So I came back and I woke her up, you know, to do my wound. And I put on my nightgown and she's like, wait, wh why do you have your nightgown on? I'm like, oh, I want to do some stuff. I said, I went when I went into the shop today, nothing was done. So I told Cher that I'd be back like eh, 10, 30, 11, 11, 30. And she's like, oh, yeah, your earliest is 1 o'clock. Yeah, they'll give me time to do your orders. I'm like, okay, that sounds great, you know. So, okay, we're here. So, let me go deliver this. And I'll be right back. For once, I went to, I, I hate delivering to this apartment complex because I usually have to deliver all the way up there. But this time, I was on the first floor and I was like, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so where how are we gonna get out of here? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um now we're gonna do um instead of okay. Yeah. Oh, I forgot what I was even talking about. Mm, oh yeah, yesterday. So yeah, Johnny, that's right. Um I want to I don't know where that's going to take me. I want to go this way because I know this way. So I came home, put on my nightgown. Back is like, what are you doing? Aren't we working today? I'm like, yeah, we're working, but we need to give Cher some time. And she's like, oh, okay. I said, so I thought, oh no, let me go back too. On the way to work yesterday, not yesterday, Monday. Yeah, Monday. Did I already tell you guys about this? How John asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I basically ended up buying my own birthday present. I wanted bath mats and um, 
just household stuff. Pla placemats. I couldn't think of what those were called. I'm like, plat mat. Placemats. Um, rugs for the kitchen floor, the bathroom floor, new shower curtain. I think that was it, right? Yeah, that's what justified my spending on patterns. Debacle. And see, the whole thing is, too, yeah, I would love those Lizzie Cates, but I don't think you can get the... Oh, man, did I go the wrong way? This doesn't feel familiar. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. Um, I like to put my patterns in Pattern Keeper, and I haven't learned... I haven't taken the time to learn how to take a picture of the pattern and put it in Pattern Keeper that way, but I'm spoiled by Pattern Keeper. I think that's why I hate the chart, the temperature one, so much. Because they don't work in Pattern Keeper, which I did get Temperature Tree working in there, finally. And I was very happy about that. Um, that went so much faster. But, yeah, it just it frustrates me. And then, I don't know why Pattern Keeper isn't reading off my OneDrive anymore. So, last night when I came home, I was able to figure it out off of my drive. I think that's what it's called. So I moved the pattern over to drive to put on Pattern Keeper. It was just a big hot mess. But anyways, so I told Becca, I said, well, I want to clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen, you know, mop the sweep, mop the floors to put down the new rugs, get the old shower curtain changed out. You know, I was just doing these things because I wanted to do them. Well, then John started to help with the shower curtain and I'm like oh I thank you you know and I was like that's kind of weird because usually I have to beg him to do that because I'm too short if I was like an inch maybe two inches taller it would be a lot easier for me but I'm just too damn short to reach it and after I do like four or five hooks my um shoulders start to burn and my calves start to burn because I'm on my damn tippy toes and I'm barely reaching it I mean the struggle is real being short it really is at point at one point I'm like should I just bring in the step stool because it would make this go so much faster but um, <laughs> I got okay so I don't have a regular bathtub I have a step in shower so there's a lip on the step on shower so I stood on that but then I was balancing it was a hot mess watching me do that so I got the cloth one down and I asked John, I said, can you just please take down the other one and put the other one up? And he just like jumped up and did it. And I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And then he was like, oh, and I'm going to vacuum the back room. I said, well, hey, well, you got the vacuum out. Why don't you vacuum the living room? He's like, okay. I said, it may be our bedroom too, you know. And everything I said, he was like, okay, okay. And he was like jumping and helping. And um, <coughs> hold on, I got to take a drink, guys. So then, I start to sweep them off the the floors. I sweep the kitchen, then I I do the kitchen, and then I go do the bathroom. Cause I don't. I think it's gross to do the bathroom and then to go do the kitchen. I don't know. It's just me. So, um, and Becca was like doing the living room, and John's like, "Well, I'm gonna go cut the front grass," and I'm like. Okay, and he's like, I'm even gonna weed whack. I said, okay, can you weed whack first and then cut the grass? Sure. Front yard looks amazing. Last night he did the backyard. And that's when it hit me when I was sitting there last night at 10 o'clock at night when he came in and told me all the stuff that he did outside. I'm like, it's because his friend's coming over. And then this morning, all this stuff he was doing, I'm like, damn, he needs to invite his friends over more often. He actually cleans the house and he cleans the house the mommy way. Yeah, I was like, wow. So, well, I'm kind of like, oh, because I've never met this guy. I think he was at our wedding or was he out of town that, that day? I don't remember. He probably was out of town that day if I remember right now. So I don't think I ever met this guy in person. I just, I've heard about him. John always talks about him. And John has two friends named Joe. 
And he's like, it's not the Joe that you hate. And I'm like, I know, you stopped talking to the Joe I hate, right? And he's like, oh yeah, about seven years ago. And I'm like, okay, so it's fine. When he said that, you know, Joe was coming over, I'm like, okay. And he's like, it's not the one you hate. <laughs> I'm like, okay. The other, okay, let me explain the reason why I don't like the other Joe. You know those Facebook warriors who just wait for you to post something so they can be all over it? And my, one of my like close friends was going through cancer. And I put on a post on my Facebook. Now mind you, this was, oh my God, probably like 12 years ago. So, she was like in her early 30s, okay? And I put praying for blah, blah, blah. I don't want to give out the name. She's passed away since then of cancer. And I'm like praying for blah, blah, blah. You have a special place in my heart, you know, blah, whatever. He attacked. Oh, shoot. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, no. I'm going the right way. He attacked my post spouting off about how God isn't real and all this stuff and it's like dude inappropriate read the post before you start you know there's a time and a place for that and this was not the place because she was dying and within a month she was dead so no this is not the place that you do this but in anything he would just be the first one to comment and it's like I could like post, um, the sun was shining so bright, it put me in a good mood today. And he would just turn the post into a negative thing. I'm like, finally I told John, I said, I'm, I'm blocking your friend because he's a fucking asshole. Oops, sorry for language. But he is. <laughs> it came out. Sorry, Maggie. Don't be mad. Oh, <laughs> dang, that just flew out of my mouth. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I'm like, you know, so after, you know, the whole, when he like post, when he commented on my post about the, you know, my praying for my friend, I, I finally like, oh, here's Johnny. So, okay. Sorry about that. Johnny was telling me about his doctor's appointment because he just got out of his, out of his doctor's appointment. I don't think I was supposed to turn this way. This is a dead end. So what are you doing back? What are you doing? I don't think I programmed the next one in. That could be the problem too. So let's just turn in here real fast. <clears throat> yeah, we're trespassing. It's okay. It is a public street, people. Okay. Real nice that lady that I just delivered to. I got a tip. I'm lucky if I get a, a tip like once a month, sometimes once a season, like fall, winter, you know. Certain people give tips. Most don't. I have my like regulars who tip me. But this lady, she was very nice. I had to call her because she wasn't answering her door and I'm like, hi, this is Becky from the 30 floors. I have a flower delivery for you. Are you home? And she's like, yeah. I said, oh, okay, honey, I left it right by your front porch for you. She goes, can you come back up? I want to give you a tip. I'm like, sure. I'm just in your driveway calling you to make sure you were home. <laughs> I'll come back up for a tip. Heck yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I was talking about Johnny and his friend. So, there were, you know, times that this Joe guy would, like, make me mad. And I would tell John, you know, he's an idiot. And that last one, I was like, I'm blocking him. And he's like, what did he do this time? I said, why don't you just go on my post and read it? And he came back and he's like, I can't believe he did that. I'm like, yeah, that's your friend. And he's like, you know what? I think I'm going to stop talking to him too. And I was like. I'm not making you make that decision. If you want to make that decision on your own, go for it. But I'm telling you what I'm doing, I'm blocking. But if you want to be his friend, still be his friend. 
He's like, no, he just keeps getting weirder and weirder. And that's the thing. When they were kids, they both were weird, you know. John's favorite story to tell is every time he would get new shoes, he would go sit outside the 7-Eleven at night and catch his shoes on fire while they were on his feet. You know, just stupid kid stuff to do. Drive around with the Ouija board in his car. You know, because you're really cool if you do that. You know, just stupid guy stuff. But he's like, I, I'm, I'm kind of outgrown him. I'm like, yeah, he's never going to grow up. So anyways, um, it's not that joke that's coming over. <laughs> Um, John went to the doctor's today. Okay, so he must have pocket dialed me. I knew his appointment was at 140, and at 140, I see that I had a missed phone call. So, and of course, it happened. Yeah, I'm gonna start yawning now. It happened while I was in the shop, you know, getting my next run together. So I come out and I see, oh my god, that I missed John's phone call. I didn't check to see if there was a voicemail or nothing. I just called him right back because I knew he was at the doctor's office. Okay, maybe I should take a drink. I feel like I'm going to choke again. So I thought, okay, maybe if I talked faster it wouldn't happen. But then it seemed like it was going to happen even more because I was talking fast. Which I apologize. I am a talk faster. I am a talk faster. I talk fast sometimes. I don't realize I'm doing it until it, it's like, you know... Oh, usually when I realize I'm doing it is when I'm watching the playback. Yeah. Which, if you have a floss too, watch yourself back in double speed. It's freaking hilarious. I love watching my videos back in double speed. Um, I couldn't do it in singles or normal. No. And the funny thing is, is me and Becca were talking about that yesterday. Because we were watching. I forgot who we were watching. Oh, we were... Oh, my God. I forgot who I was watching. I was watching Miss Coffee's whipping chat. And she was saying about how her sister made a video. And listening it back, you know, not liking your voice. And me and Becca both started cracking up because we thought Miss Coffee was going to say, yeah, tell me about it. I have to listen to your voice all the time. But that's not what she said. She said, listen about it. And she like stopped just for that second. And me and Becca started cracking up. So I paused her real fast. I go, what are you laughing about? She goes, oh no, she had finished it. She goes, that's not what I thought she was going to say. And I'm like, I know exactly. Did I tell you what she said? She said, I have to listen to myself back all the time. I don't know if I said that. Just once again, once I start talking, my mind goes a mile a minute. And I think that I say things that I don't say. So, anyways. um, So, then we had to pause the video because we were laughing so hard. And I go, yeah, that's how I feel. I said, but you know what? People tell me that me, people tell me and Becca all the time we sound alike. But when I hear myself, my voice back. It doesn't sound like Becca, so how does that work? You know, so I'm like, oh, I do know what my voice sounds like. I'm like, but wait a minute, no, because when I hear my voice back, it doesn't sound like you. <laughs> so it's weird. I don't know. I like my voice that I hear in my head, or no, like I hear now when I talk, but I don't like my voice hearing back a recording. Does that make sense? Oh my God. I don't even know where I was going with that, but. And it's getting hot. I know you guys have been suffering with the heat, but now Michigan is starting to warm up. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait. Did I tell you about Johnny? I felt like I started that story, but did I finish it? That he called when I was in the shop and then I called him back he's like hey what what did you want and I'm like no I called him back I said hey what's going on he's like what's going on I'm like you called me and I missed it he said I didn't call you I said yeah 140 he's like hmm must have butt dialed you 
I'm like, must have. I said, I thought you were in the doctor's office. He's like, I am in the doctor. And we're both whispering. I don't know why both of us are whispering. So then he he called me back. Oh, and I said, hey. He's like, well, I gotta go because the doctor's gonna walk in at any time. And John thinks he's gonna get in trouble. If the doctor walks in and he's on the phone, he's so freaking hilarious. I'm like, if the doctor walks in and you're on the phone, you just say, hey, Dr. Toss just walked in and I would hang up with you right away, you know? But he thinks that, you know, whatever. So I said, hey, wait, before you go, um, if you get out of the doctor's office soon, can you go do a delivery for me? He's like, yeah, I'll go do it. It's a, it's to a funeral home, so he's not, he's not mad. Now, if he was a saint, he would take my other two deliveries that are there that's right by the shop, because uh, you're right there by the shop, and then I wouldn't have to go back to the shop, but I don't see that happening. He's a nice guy, but he's not that nice. Um, yeah, so... Oh, he called me back and he's like, I won't go into details like he did because he's quite a disgusting pig. He said, oh yeah, by the way, I had to send in a sample of my number two. I did it the neat way, the nice way. Not him. He even went in to tell me how he had to do it. I'm like, oh, stop, stop, stop. I asked why, not how. He's like, oh, it's to check to see if I have colon cancer. I'm like, well, why don't they just do a colonoscopy on you? And it makes sense. He has a hernia. All of his insides are on the outside. They hang outside of his body. His hernia is bad. And it's getting worse. Which, um, good news, John has, is at the halfway point. So now he only has to lose another. What am I doing? I'm not even going the right way. Oh my God, my brain. I don't know where I was going. I guess I was going to Wujak Calcaterra, but we need to go that way. Um, because uh, I usually, when I'm on this road, that's where I'm going. So he's, yeah, sorry. He's 50 pounds away from getting his surgery. So we're super excited. And of course, I had to start lecturing him because he's like, yeah, I can do it. I, I'm, I, I know what I can do. I'm doing it. I said, mm, you know what, John? I said, you know what else would make it happen a lot faster? I mean, okay, now let me say, I am very proud of him. He has cut out all pasta, um, French fries. He does eat a baked potato, but now he's learning that maybe even the baked potato's not, it doesn't set right with him. It's all about the carbs. It's high carbs makes him really sick. So, um, what he's been doing lately is, and I've been encouraging it too, and we've been eating at the dining room table more now, so it's very easy for me to watch what he puts on his plates, and like, um, the, the other day, um, God, my brain, sorry guys. I saw that he only had the pork chop on his plate, and of course he wasn't going to eat the noodles. I said, well, why don't you have a salad? He's like, yeah, I, I might get up and make one. I said, if I get up right now and make you a salad, will you eat it? He's like, yeah. So I made him a salad, and he's like, that was really good to have the salad with the meat. I said, that's what you should be doing. So... Oh, but I told him, I said, you know what would really make it go faster? Because he already, we have given up pop totally in the house. So that's one good thing. Except for, I think it was Sunday. He's like, hey, do you mind if I get some root beer for some root beer floats? And I'm like, one two liter. Well, he got two two liters. And at dinner, he was drinking root beer. And then Becca comes up to me. She's like, mom do you mind if I have a glass of root beer I'm like Becca you don't have to ask me she's like well you know we're we're doing the diet together I said yeah but it's your choice if you want to have a cheat it's on you it's not on me to police you and she's like okay I said so if you're coming to me for advice I would say yeah have 
one glass of root beer. That's fine. But don't drink root beer the rest of the night. Have one glass at dinner, and that's fine. But I'm still choosing to drink my um, iced tea or water, you know? It's sweet tea, but it's not with sugar. It's with uh, Splenda. So, anyways, I told him, I said, you know what? If you cut out the little Debbies and the Ding Dongs, and I said, basically, John, you need to say no to chocolate. Because he buys chocolate ca uh, candy bars and stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying he eats one every single day, but four out of the seven days, we'll cut that out and you'll see a difference, a, even more difference, you know? So, I don't know, we're working on it as a family. So, we're all trying to better, better ourselves. To be more healthy. Really, that's what we're trying. Well, John to get the surgery. Because once he gets the surgery, he'll have more energy. Um, won't get sick every time you eat. You want to actually do things. Trust me. After I had my hernia, sur hernia surgery, I was like, oh my God. I was, oh shoot. Oh, I knew that was going to be a big one. Um. I was like, I was that miserable all day, every day. It's painful when you let it go so much. Now, mind you, I had my hernia for 20 years. So for 20 years, it was getting bigger and bigger. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just realized that bump took you guys for a little ride. <laughs> okay. So, there we go. Um... Yeah, so mine wasn't as big as John, so I can't even imagine how much pain he's in. Because mine was just like... I looked like I was pregnant, and it was like... I don't even know how to describe it, but I looked like I was pregnant. With a big hole. They actually had to take my whole belly button. And this surgeon was so cool. He made me a, belly, a fake belly button. So when you look at me in the mirror, I look like I have a belly button. But I don't. He just made one. He made a fake looking one. Oh, God. Another big bump. Ugh. Okay, this time you guys didn't. Um, see, I hate getting on this street. That's so scary to me. Because it feels like you're going to go into this parking lot. But no, this is a street. And then now you're on the street. So, yay. But he's super excited. His mind is made up. Um, I think I told you guys a couple, well, maybe a month ago or I don't know. I think I told you guys. Oh, I remember talking about it. That this is the first time that he actually said in his goal is October, November. That he wants to have the surgery. And he never said, okay, this is when I want to have the surgery. I have a date in mind. Which I think now is going to be more like a January date. But still, the date is the date. Okay, so I am back again. Oh, there's a car coming. Yeah, so that's what's been going on the, this week. I feel like I, like, talked your ears off today. And I find that Wednesday, I seem to do a really long clip. And I don't know why. I'm usually, like, very jabbery-jawed on Wednesday. Okay, I'm not sure how to get out of here. I really don't want to go back that way. So, I'm going to try this way. I don't even know if you can go out that way. I think you would have to go automatically south on no that would be east on 16 mile road okay wait what do you want me to do you're like really confusing me here 
Oh, I missed my turn. Okay, let the GPS recalculate us. Nope, it doesn't want me to turn down that street. Yeah, so, like I was saying, the whole reason I told you about all of John and his friends and all that is I don't know how long they're going to be at the house. And I don't know how much ditching time I'm going to have done, you know. Is John going to want me to be out there with him or probably going to so which is very awkward I don't like when I don't know someone at all and then I had to sit out there I don't know I'm feeling very anxious about it but I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow I'll be really upset if they don't show up because I know that will break John's heart heart especially all the hard work he's done to get the house I mean, our house is clean, but it is spick and span clean. <laughs> Ooh, that reminds me. I want to get some spick and span. I love the smell of spick and span, but I always forget when I'm at the grocery store to get spick and span. Do they even make spick and span anymore? Because there was another one that I went to go get, and they don't make it anymore. And, of course, I forgot what it was called, but I know the look of the bottle, and when you go through and you look at every single bottle to make sure you're not missing it. I couldn't find it, so yay, but there is no yay on that one. Okay, I'm going to let you go because I think I talked for at least a half an hour today, and if I keep this up, then this clip is going to be over an hour, or this vlog is going to be over an hour. I know some of you don't like the long ones, but some of you do like the long ones. Some of you don't like the driving. Some of you do like the driving. So, yeah. I don't know. I wish I could make everyone happy, but I can't, so. I can only be me. Okay, I'm getting off of here because all my other goal is I have my watch list down to 14, seven, no, 17 videos. And my goal for today is to get it down to zero. And then I'll be caught up on everyone, I think. I hope I didn't miss anyone. But that's easy because once I'm done with these, then I start in my subscription list and I go to each, everyone's channel that I watch on a, you know, normal basis. And I make sure I watch all of those because what's cool is, I don't know if you know this, but on your phone, the people you watch all the time, they're at the beginning of the list. So then you can work your way down. So which I'm just realizing I did forget someone. And now I'm feeling really bad, so I'm gonna need to go to that channel right now and add those to the beginning. Because, yeah, I, it just hit me. I haven't, I'm not gonna say who it is because I don't want them to feel, oh shoot, I gotta get over. Um, It would break my heart if they were upset that I forgot them. But you know, it's just the normal, doing and I don't know how I I skipped them you know it wasn't on it, it, it wasn't intentionally and I know they're at the beginning of my list anyways too so whatever enough of that I'm going to watch some floss tube or diamond painting or whatever the people that I watch do are doing so oh do not run into me jackass I almost got rear-ended because this guy's not paying attention that there was someone walking across the street. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm getting off of here. My nerves are shot now. Bye guys. See you tomorrow. Oh, and welcome back. It's Friday. Friday. I think I missed yesterday. Um. Which, you didn't miss anything because I didn't cross-stitch one bit. I took Wednesday off. Um, yesterday I cross stitched, uh, I want to say 600 stitches all on my peacock. Oh my God, guys, I am loving my peacock, but I'm a little worried now because I'm running out of flaws. Um, and I don't know how long it's going to take for everything cross stitch to get here, which they are faster than, um, one, two, three stitch. So 
but I haven't gotten an email saying it's shipped. And I don't remember if I get an email saying it's shipped. I don't remember. But, um, I got so many cross stitching done yesterday. It's looking amazing. Well, you can't really, you can tell that I got maybe, um, one rose done, two roses done. I think I have two roses done, but yeah. Okay, Beck, can you, that's really loud right now. Um, it's distracting me too, you know? Yeah, so um, this morning, well, yesterday too, when we left the shop the day before, we always like try to check the screen and we had no earlies and there was nine deliveries. So yesterday when John woke up, he called the shop and said, hey, what does it look like today? And they're like, uh, you have 10 deliveries, no times. I'm like, okay. So John said, I'm not going in until like 11.30 because it makes no sense going in early stuff isn't done so and there's no timed one so what's the rush you know when there's two people you can do that because um i grab all the south he grabs all the north and it's just like one big circle and it's done well again this morning i'm like how many's there and he's like um there's 14 but no times i'm like I'm not going in until at least 12 o'clock. And I went in at 12. Like then he called me. He's like, okay, now we're up to 17. He goes, but only four of yours are done. And this was like at 1130. I said, well, I'm not coming in until 1230 then because it makes no sense me going in to do what? To sit there? So I put in 100 stitches on my cross stitches this morning. So I already stitched today. Um, which I'm going home and I'm stitching more. And then I figured after I'm done stitching or run out of the color I'm using, then I'm going to, I have to try to figure out how to print some things off of Facebook, the group, like my recipes and stuff like that. You can't print it off of the phone, but I'm wondering if I can print it off even if I copy and paste it to OneDrive, but on the phone, you couldn't even copy and paste. I tried everything. And I gave it to the computer genius that's sitting right over here, and she couldn't even figure it out, so. I'm not a computer genius. You're my computer genius. Huh. I'm a computer noob. Technician. Noob. Hey, you almost have a bachelor degree, so you're not a noob in computers. Um, yeah, so, and I want to, because I want to, to, I want to, 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 yeah. Um, I have a lot of computer work to do this weekend. I need to download all the patterns that I bought. I need to print out the cover pages. I kind of want to kit some up just so when I want to start it, I don't have to do the get up process because I real oh man, did we make a mistake? This is eight mile. Okay, it's running faster-ish. So, after three o'clock, you never want to get on this expressway going this way. So I was like, am I, am I jinxing myself? But usually it's backed up already, so to eight mile. We gotta figure this out too. This thing keeps maybe doing that. My GPS keeps unplugging. Mm. So, what else is there to talk about, baby girl? Uh, Becca plans on making, um, designing some patterns this weekend, which I'm very excited about. Yeah. Uh, I plan on cross stitching and kidding stuff up because there's quite a few things that I want to do and then if she gets any patterns done I'm going to kit those up too so yay 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 okay so now I have a little thing that I is like mm, I don't even know the words 
basically it's pissed me off. I don't understand why certain people in the diamond painting community are such rude people. This weekend is the sparkle thon or something like that. Now, I don't diamond paint very much anymore because I love my cross stitching. But I still watch diamond painters and I have a lot of diamond painter friends. I don't understand why you know people go live every single week on a certain day at a certain time. And they participated, that word always trips me up, participated in it before. So why wouldn't you go to that person and say, hey, would you like to participate? No, that's too easy. Why not just, or that's too hard. Why not just schedule it right over their time and make them feel like they're not wanted? And don't give me that BS, that bullshit about, well, it's for the people who are less than a thousand subscribers because uh, I already looked at some of them and they're more than a thousand subscribers. And one of the people hide their subscriber count and I know she's over a thousand why the hell would you hide your your subscriber count hmm little suspicious to me ain't so no I'm reason to hide your sub count if you ain't being suspicious yeah I'm just I'm really mad about it I really am and when I see things wrong I, I speak up about them and I'm speaking up. I don't think it's right. Do you think I'll be watching anyone on the sparkler phone now? Hell no. Boycotted that bitch. Fuck that shit. Sorry, Maggie. I know. Oh, now they got my blood pressure off. But you know, it's not fair. It ain't fair. Why would you do that? That's rude. And they're supposed to be all for the community? Pop. Huh. Yeah. Especially the one person. Mm. Mm. Okay, I need to get off that subject because I'm going to say some things that are not nice. Because there's two of them that are not nice. Okay, new subject. What's our new subject? We need a new subject. So we can't end on that. We can't. My blood pressure is up. You, I, mm. <laughs> You're going to stream me making patterns tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Becca's going to stream. Um, It's going to be a silent stream. You're going to put music on, right? Yeah. Um, but no mic because I'm kind of looking for a better mic. Well, no, but I'm saying, right, you're just going to have music in the background. So you wouldn't have your mic on anyways. Yeah. Um, and this is on Twitch for you who don't know she streams on Twitch, your tiny fucker fish. Yep, on Twitch. Yes. I'll put it in the comment. You will? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, well, um, it's already in the description box. It says your YouTube and your Twitch. I'm almost, I am. I'm about to check. I am 75% sure it's in the comment section. Now, the description. You're the one who said comment section. Now you got me all messed up here. Yeah, because I was going to put the link in a comment. But is, you see it? I got to go to your, oh, oh no, my, my wound is starting to hurt really bad. Oh, it just slipped. Oh God. Oh, it's pulling. <sighs> Nothing worse, too. I've been drinking so much water. Oh, I got more things to say. Yeah. Yeah, what am I talking about? Yeah, you did put me there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, click on it and make sure the link isn't broken still or broken. Sometimes those links break and it won't take you there. Is it working? Yep. It works. Yay. Um, so I've been... Okay, so since June, really, is when I started it and then, you know, things happened. 
uh, I got burnt and stuff like that. Um, which, one good thing about being burnt by that grease, um, I'm no longer a smoker or a vapor. I don't do any of it anymore. I was really worried about the, because they say if you smoke, it's harder to heal. I'm like, well, I wonder if you vape, if it's harder to heal. You know, your body doesn't heal as fast. And I was already down to like just puffing on it maybe twice a day, three times a day. So, and you would think because I was so stressed out and worried about it that I would have vaped more, but I didn't. That's, oh my God, that was a big bump. That was a big, like, eye-opening thing, but yeah, I don't vape no more. I'm drinking at least, what is it, 64 ounces? Yep. <laughs> now I got the hiccups of water. <laughs> um, and today I joined Weight Watchers, which I've already changed what I would have eaten today differently because you know when I have my sandwich mm -hmm. I have two of those small bags of chips yeah I only had one good for you so and my cereal I cut it in half today so and tr you know the funny thing is I cut the cereal in half and it still was a little hard to eat the last bite which was weird you know because I always have leftover cereal and I'm like well why not just put less in the bowl and see you know oh yep good old potholes um they were making them look at the ceiling <laughs> the other day it wanted they were like looking at the sky like oh yeah but if you come back down and see what we're doing here Come back down to reality. Come get back down to reality. Yeah, get your head out of the clouds. So, I don't know. I'm going to try it. I got my Fitbit back on. So, the other thing is, I really don't want to sleep with it at night. Because I feel like when I'm wearing it, I don't sleep good. And it's so weird. It's because I'm scared I'm going to drool on it. <laughs> so, I get paranoid. Which I don't drool every night but once in a great while I'll wake up and I'll have drool and I'm like holy shit why do I have drool all over my pillow and I'm just scared that it will get which these this one is waterproof so I don't even know why I'm worried about it but old yeah habits. old habits die hard yeah so I'm, I'm quite excited I'm making life changes and yeah so, I think that's about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Playing my games, which I'm loving them. We're, we're actually um, killing zombies now, too. Yeah. Well, we're walking to Atlanta. We just came out of the house, and now we're searching the house. I'm searching the bathroom for 200 stitches. See if I can find something. If there's a zombie, I had to kill it. I want us to have more weapons. I don't feel like we have enough weapons, but what you maybe we'll have? we have a long range shot shotgun, a shovel, a knife, and that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, you need more weapons. At least two weapons per person. We don't even have a weapon for each person right now. A long range and a melee. I never can say that word. Melee. Or melee. Melee. I don't know. Okay, so I think we bored you enough with our talk. I'm going to get off of here. I think this one is super long and I'm sorry for that. I'm not. <laughs> you weren't even here for half of it. I don't care. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I know. You like to watch them. Okay. So, I will see you guys next week. Yay? No, yay. Yes, yay. I don't know. 
however you feel. You keep coming back for them, so, oh yeah, to, to, this weekend too, I'm going to try to um, see if I can do the setup in the house. So I'm going to get off here and I'm going to explain what I'm talking about because Becca's giving me this weird ass look, so. Oh no, a tree, no! Choo-choo. <laughs> Oh, I need to go potty. <laughs> Drinking all this damn water. Okay, bud, can you... You guys have a great weekend. Bye, guys.